This week, much attention has been paid to injustice and the need for equality. And while leaders in Washington say more must be done, lawmakers say they're one step closer to addressing a growing problem in the U.S., a rise in anti-Asian American hate crimes. Our Joe St. George explains what's poised to soon become law and how some believe it will stop hate. 2020 will forever be remembered as the year of the pandemic. Masks and social distancing dominated our lives. And while isolation contributed to an overall decline in reported hate crimes by 7%, the number of hate crimes targeting Asians spiked up 150% according to analysis by the Nonpartisan Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism. In New York City, for instance, in 2019, there were three reported incidents toward Asians reported to police in 2020, 28 incidents. Incidents were reported, and many believe that more go unreported. Well, Congress is taking major steps to try and address this. The COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act orders the Justice Department to expedite the review of hate crimes, provides grants to local police to investigate them, and helps advise local police how to handle complaints when they occur. The measure is sponsored by Democratic Senator Maisie Hirono of Hawaii, the only immigrant serving in the Senate. The legislation poised to pass because of something that's rare in Washington, D.C. Bipartisanship, Democrats and Republicans coming together to address this issue, a sign of how serious hate crimes have become nationwide. The measure passing the Senate Thursday, both Democratic leader Chuck Schumer and Republican leader Mitch McConnell in a rare agreement. The bill still needs one more vote in the House before it's expected to be signed by the president. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.